Hello, this is Sir Wrenchin. I'm going to show you how to run Fallout 3 on Windows 7 64 bit. What you can do is you go to your local disk, program files, Steam folder, Steam apps, common, and you're going to go down here to Fallout 3 GOTY or Game of the Year. And under this, you're going to find the one that says application. This one's 14 meg. And you right click on it. And once the stupid spinning sphincter goes away, choose properties, click. Go under the compatibility tab, click. <coughs> okay, now you're going to check run this program in compatibility mode for. And then you can choose from the drop down. Windows XP Service Pack 2 or 3, it doesn't really matter, I just go by 3. You don't need any of these settings unless you have a really horrible computer. You don't really need to mess with the privilege level unless you have some interesting mods going on or some, some strange things. Anyway, you just click apply, then okay, or just okay. And click cancel because I've already done this. Now, let's say that you already, what you're going to do is you could do control it, delete, and you're your program is running and you're still having an issue. You go under processes and let me say just this. It, let me say this is Fallout 3, the EXE. You're going to find it and you're going to click set affinity. Now, what you're going to do, since Fallout 3 is only made for dual core processors or less, I have 8 and 8 core, you just click this one, like 1, CPU 0, or if you have some, if you have mods going on and other things running, then you click two. But you don't really want to have any more than that, otherwise it causes crashing. This will save you lots of time and it'll prevent lots of crashes. If you follow these, you're going to be set. And there are other things you can do where you can go on the mod nexus and stuff. But this is a tutorial for non-download. This is the stuff you can do, stuff for your computer. Anyway, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. This is Sorenshin. I may do a Fallout New Vegas GEC tutorial in the future. Anyway, thank you. Have a nice day, and let me know what, what you think in the comments. And if you have suggestions for other tutorials, let me know. Thank you, and have a nice day.